creator. Welcome to Odessa Rose Creates. I'm Robin Schmidt. I am an independent chakra tour designer and I'm going to share with you my love of creating with our reusable silkscreen transfers. The best DIY bomb out there. Um, I have so much fun creating with these and I love sharing my ideas with you. So you can create your own beautiful DIY home decor. So today we're going to work on a found surface. That means I found it out in the world of shopping. <laughs> I did not buy this from Chakra Tour, although we have the most beautiful surfaces, quality, um, but sometimes I like to change it up and find different uh, sizes, different shapes, different looks on uh, usually discounted surfaces that I find and repurpose. So that's part of my craft is just repurposing um, usually signs or artwork that's I find on discount. So today, this is kind of what it looked like before. It actually had a uh, dimensional piece and I pulled it off, you can see where I tore the paper. Same thing happened to this one. I, got, I bought two of them. But I have already uh, taped the inside so I don't get paint, because it's pretty deep. As you can see, it's got some depth to it. It's almost like a shadow box without the front. So we're going to uh, make another little piece to elevate and float on here, just like this one had. And um, I went ahead and taped it and put a couple coats of paint over it. And that was just kind of like a paper. This is just paper that's in here. And a lot of the signs that are out there, um, especially at the hobby store, they are paper surface. You think that they are um, painted and or silk screened like what we do, but no, they actually attach a thin piece of paper to a board. And that's the difference between handcrafted and stamped out by machines. So anyway, I had this plaid back here and I put two coats of paint on and I can still faintly see that plaid in here. And I'm kind of gonna not put a third coat on. I'm kind of liking that coming through. Um, I think it'll maybe add a little bit of a dimension to what I'm gonna do next, which is similar to what I did. I forgot to bring that piece in a couple days ago with the basket weave using seeing spots, seeing spots, it's hard to say, um, transfer. So um, we're gonna do it with white. This is kind of an off-white paint. This is my raw silk fusion mineral paint. And um, I'm gonna do the pattern, the woven pattern look with seeing spots transfer in white. And before, on the other piece, and I meant to grab it and I forgot, um, after I did my weave, I sanded it down smooth because we were gonna put another transfer on top and I wanted to have a smooth surface. But on this one, we're not gonna sand it down because A, we're not gonna put another transfer right on top of it. And B, I want that um, levelness, the different levels of the weave, because then I'm gonna come in with my dark wax and wax that and um, that dark wax will kind of gather up against the edges of the chalk paste and um, give a little bit more dimension to it. So you'll see what I mean. I'm not gonna skim it down super thin and uh, just have a little bit of a level of that chalk paste sticking up enough to catch that um, dark wax. So you'll see what I mean. Hopefully it'll work out okay. So let's see who's saying hello. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Here we go. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Danielle. D-E-N-N-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. That is a cool name, Danielle. Hope I'm saying it right. Leanne, good morning, guys. All right, so we're gonna go from this. It also has this cute little uh, hanger on it. It's kinda cute. So you can hang it up that way. Um, so let's do this phase and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do to the second part of it. Um, when we get done with doing another little basket weave in white, but we're gonna treat it a differently than we did um, the one we did the other day. 
So make sure my hanger's on the top. Although this, this part doesn't really matter because it's just a pattern. But um, always make sure and keep in mind I put two, two uh, layers of paint on here. And then I do have my tape in here so the tape will obviously come out. And I might put a little bit of just, um, hmm, I'm trying to decide. I'm going to do paste or wax paste. And uh, I'm just trying to decide what color I want. I want to do that in the dark or the, I may do it in the dark. That'll just kind of give it another vintage darkness to it. Even though I'm going to be waxing again after I basket weave. So I just did two coats of Fusion Mineral and I can still see a little bit of that plaid coming through, which I think will just add a little bit of dimension uh, to the overall look. We're not gonna see a whole lot of this because we're gonna do something else on top of it. So in a way it's almost like a good practice because it's not gonna be, uh, we're not gonna see the whole thing, which is fine because you know, just like um, this one, it had a piece of that paper that was torn. There was something, um, an element that was glued, dimensioned out on here, and I just popped it off, and it left that tear. Well, it's on here too, but now you can hardly see it because of the paint, but it is right there. But that's going to be covered up with the second de uh, design feature, okay? So we put a little of that dark wax on. And we're going to go, so you can see how it's kind of off-white. We're going to do white, bright white basket weave on top. But then we will be adding the um, antique of the dark stain. So I'm just going to pop this in here. Uh, the trick is just getting all the air pockets out. You want to make sure you got it tight and smooth so you have a good print. Yesterday, I went to Dollar Tree. I was looking for something. You guys, if you ever watch on YouTube, there's a couple or several gals that shop Dollar Tree and then they show you all the newest things. And of course, they have really big stores they go to, which offers a lot more than what I can get here in Omaha. There's several stores, but none of them are really super big. Or stocked up really well because you know how and it was crazy yesterday was a Thursday all the stores I went to were extremely busy with people and shoppers and buyers the checkout lines I mean it was really good to see you know it was really good to see that so I went to this one big plaza that has lots of storefronts and you know half of them are empty now and it's just sad being a retailer, um, I was in the, I still dabble in retail, but um, when I had my own store, it's just sad to see so many retailers going out of business. So we're gonna do white, bright white. I've got that in here. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go to a bigger squeegee. It'll go a lot faster. And we're just gonna put our spots going in one direction. And then we will turn it and go at um, one going vertical and then go horizontal. Or I guess I'm going horizontal first and then we'll go vertical. And gotta remember, I don't want to skim it down super thin. I kind of want my spots to be raised a little bit more. So I kind of want it left on thick. So I do have that raise uh, element, the dimension of the spot sticking up a little bit. The other day when I did it, I sanded it all down smooth because we were putting a transfer on top. But today we're not going to be doing that. We're gonna be doing something different. So I kind of want them to have a little bit of dimension to them. So I'm just gonna smooth it out, but kind of, not skim it down super tight. So they have a little bit of a lift. Okay. I could smooth down here because we're not going to see this area. But you can see the difference. 
that's skimming it down really close and having a smoother smooth as you can get of the silk screen print but around the outside I left it kind of thicker because I do want them I do want them to be raised It is an all horizontal. Oh, I got a niche. Okay, so we're gonna dry this and then I'm gonna run the transfer the other direction. And we're gonna kind of get that basket weave look. I've been wanting to see what it looks like on a tone on tone in white. So here it is. Get that to dry. Hello from hot, humid Houston. Thank you for the extra explanation of your painting techniques. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Sarah. Sarah from Houston. Oh, taking the toddler to daycare. So I went to Dollar Tree and they didn't have what I saw on the YouTube shoppers, of course because um, it gave me an idea for crafting with. And so I didn't But I got a bunch of little gifty things for my grandkids because tomorrow we're going to... Um, it's in Nebraska City. We're going to Treetop Adventures. It's the huge uh, National Arbor. I think it's national. Uh, it's a state park, I believe. But it uh, has to do with trees with Arbor Day and it's kind of where it came from I think I don't I don't even know all the history but anyway we're gonna see them tomorrow and so I got them all a little care package put together or treat box thing whatever with snacks and little activity things so I got that and then I went to I went to TJ Maxx I got two big, huge, square um, signs on discount there, so I can use for big pieces. And then I went to I went to Burlington Coat Factory, but all I did there was go to the bathroom. <laughs> there wasn't anything there. And then uh, then I went to Hobby Lobby, and I picked up a few more seventy five percent off signs, and I got a bunch of different pairs of handles to make trays with our um, with Chaka Tours um, reclaimed palette boards because I want to make some trays for Christmas. Um, so I got some really cool handles. I probably got like five or six pairs of handles. Uh, so I'm excited about that. And I'm, um, I'm going to be starting working on Christmas. I got two huge shows, uh, craft show, vendor shows, things. Um, one is a craft show. The one I'm mixing in with retail um, and Odessa Rose Creates together. So I have also been buying um, retail products or picking them out, which is a chore. I mean, I used to do it all the time when I had my store, but um, trying to coordinate stuff all together again. It's fun. I love doing it, but it's a job. Okay, I'm gonna turn this going up and down. And now you kinda need to just take a, since this is all gummed up <laughs> with chalk base, I'm just taking a clean smooth squeegee and smoothing down my transfer right now so I can get it on tight. Try to push out the pockets of air. And that helps. You could do this when it's clean too. I just usually use my hands, but okay. So back to our white chalk paste. And we're gonna do that again. I really don't even need to do the middle because uh, we're gonna be putting something floating another little board across the top here, so. Not quite as important, but I wanted to see what this looks like with the white basket weave look. So 
even though we're not going to see much of it. Just kind of wanted to see how it turns out. So I can apply it to other larger signs that I may make. Okay, so we got that in there. I know it's hard to see if I glare. But... All right, so let's pull it down. And now we have our little basket weave. That looks really cute, really cute. Isn't that fun? Super fun. All right. That's got a lot of paste on it. I'll have to wash that up so I can reuse it. I've reused that one. I know I've used it over 10 times. I mean, right there was twice, basically. So, right. Okay, I'm gonna put my white paste away. We are done with my white. In my link up above, I put a shopping link and um, I forgot about the white paste. And I also forgot about the next little surface we're gonna use is a chalk couture surface. You, Vicki, you may have to go back up for these dots, right? Kind of fun. After we get this dried, um, I'm gonna pull up that blue tape inside, and then we're gonna apply the dark stained wax, and that's gonna change up this a little bit. It's gonna add uh, some darkness to the white, and hopefully, I left it kind of thick that it'll. Um, gather around the edges of the weave, which gives it another dimension. We'll see. But you could definitely feel the texture of it, which is what I wanted. If you remember on the sign I made the other day, I then sanded it down smooth because we were going to put another transfer on top. And you want your surface to be as smooth as possible when you transfer out, especially lettering, because you want to be able to have a nice, fine, uh, crisp print. But we're not doing that today, right now. So, okay, I got all my tape off. All right, it, that's, that is pretty, I like it. I think they need to come up with a basket weave pattern. I'd like it in two scales, a larger scale and a smaller scale, but I might just be dreaming <laughs> or wish, wishing. I got a little bit of chalk paste right here. I'm gonna wipe that off with a Clorox wipe. It'll come right off like so. paste all over my fingers, which is not helping. <laughs> Time I grab something, it leaves a white fingerprint. Okay. All right, let's play uh, that dark wax. Minwax stained wax. And there are other stain companies out there. This is just what I buy, grabbed at the home center. So you see I, I'm already rubbing it in and it's changing it. Definitely taking the whiteness away. I did kind of like the whiteness. So maybe next time I won't use the dark wax. It just depends on what look you want. But the uh, chalk paste really absorbs the stain of this wax. So 
I'm gonna keep rubbing it. It might lighten it up a little bit. You can see it's darkening it. liked it when it was more white but it, it's it's still cool it does match the frame better but when I do like if I did a white frame um, I left it more white I think it would look really sharp and I'll probably do that on some Christmas uh, projects all right that looks good now the next piece is a chocotour surface, and this is what I forgot to put in the link. This came from the what is it, five by nine uh, simple shape. I scored it with a, I drew a line, measured it, and scored it with, you know, a knife and against the rule. Scored it, scored it, scored it, and then basically you can just snap them. Cause it's kind of like a particle board so this was just snapped and then I took it out to my sander and sanded down some of the whitewash off and uh, got the edges I had to round the corners on the end that I cut it on which is this end see right there where it snapped okay so I sanded it down and left a little bit of the whiteness in it. Well, we're gonna print on that, and then we're going to uh, add some little blocks behind it and float it. So you don't you don't really see a lot of that basket weave when it's all said and done. But I just kind of wanted to experiment with it with the white. Okay, so I got this, and let me make sure I get the top. This is the way I want it to go. And I should apply a little bit of wax to this. I just sanded it, wiped off the dust. So um, we are going to apply in the transfer, Sunshine on My Mind. So I'm going to put a little bit of wax on this. To help. Um, yeah, I've explained it a zillion times why we wax. A, to help our transfer pick up off back up off of our surface with ease without stretching it out. Sometimes they stick so much that you almost have to pull them then that can stretch that silk screen fabric and misshape it. So it may not lay flat the next time you go to use it if you've pulled and stretched your transfer. Okay, so that's reason number one. Reason number two is if you silk screen and you went over the edge of your screen and you got chalk paste on your surface, or you had like a little bit of a bleed through underneath. Having that wax protects your paint from absorbing the pigment of the chalk paste. So having that wax there, you're able to clean it up easier and pick up off the chalk paste that you don't want where you don't want it where it ended up at. So um, if you have that wax under there, it makes it a lot easier to clean that up and helps from the pigment of your chalk paste staining your painted surface okay and the third reason so that's another reason clean up releasing um, <laughs> those are the two most important I think there's kind of a third they kind of all go together but all right so I want this end on the top and we're just going to do it in black because Neutrals are what sells, um, plus, plus what? I can't remember, I'm just, I'm tired. You know what I did two nights ago? Have you ever watched Netflix's, uh, I'm looking for my pheasant claw, Netflix series, um, Virgin River? Well, a few months back, I watched the whole two, first two seasons 
and now the third season is on, came on, and I thought maybe they would just release, or maybe they did, but maybe I'm just behind, one show at a time, but no, the whole season of shows is on, and every, the end of every show was a cliffhanger, so I started watching it kind of later in the evening, and then I just kept watching and watching. I ended up watching the whole season three. I purposely, go back to this, I purposely made this shorter than the transfer because I'm not going to do the hearts. I just, I'm not even going to do this heart. I just wanted the sunshine on my mind and the sun, okay? So that's why I made it shorter, plus um, it fit a little bit better in this box, okay? So anyway, I ended up watching the whole series of I don't know how many shows it was but I think it was almost three o'clock by the time I got to bed my husband thought I was crazy when I told him the next day but I go I wasn't even tired I just kept watching it I go if I had been falling asleep I would have gone to bed and watched it the next day but anyway crazy 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 okay black paste not doing the hearts I'm gonna try to remember that Almost like a rock. Anyway, that lack of uh, sleep, of course I did sleep it a little bit the next day, is why I am tired now. Okay, so I'm just smoothing out my squeegee lines because they do show up on your print. So, just smooth it all out. Okay, here it goes. Do, 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 do. Sunshine on my mind. Isn't it cute? Cute, cute, cute. So, we want that to dry. I'm going to blow dry it. So we can hurry things along. All right, let's see. What do we got here? I remember you talking about this. <laughs> I did, Beth. I would stay up and watch those shows. Don't give them to me all at once. That's the problem. I just want to keep watching them. Oh, it's terrible. Is that a show men would like? Um, probably. There's, um, I mean, there's some love story to it, but there's also a lot of uh, the background. Like these guys were all in uh, the service together. The, most of them, well, some of the men and the characters are um, know each other from back then, and then like from Iraq days, and um, yeah. But it's about a whole town or a community. So yeah, there's some health care because the, there's a doctor and the main gal character, she's a nurse practitioner. So there's medicine involved, there's drama, there's love, you know, it has all of that. Drug dealing, you know, it's got all of it. I think there are elements that a man might like. Yes, Donna. When I'm in the couch, I watch hours and I try to watch in bed and I'm not like, oh, I, we don't even have a TV in our bedroom. We tried that. Well, we had a four poster bed in our previous home, which we lived for 20 some years. And our bed was at the, uh, in the corner at a diagonal. And so where the armoire was for the TV back in the 90s, um, you had to look through the post <laughs> to see if the post was in the way and I'm like, well, that ain't going to work. So anyway, the bed, bedroom is for sleeping. We have two TV rooms and, uh, that's where you go to watch TV. This is going to be super cute. So on the back of this, 
I'm gonna take these little, I like to just use these little squares and I get these at Dollar Tree. They come a bunch of them in a pack. And so I glue them to the back of the board and then glue those to this. And then it'll dimension it out. So now we just need to flip this over. And I use a combination of E6000 because it's a stronger glue. And then I'll put a little hot glue on it too because that'll set it quick. You don't have to wait. So a dab of E6000 on each. And then we'll put a dab of hot glue. Grab it. And this is even Gorilla Glue, but I still think E6000 is definitely a stronger, I don't know if it is. I feel like it is a stronger glue. That could be crazy. I know a lot of people just use Gorilla Glues. You can see they're already set. So now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just kind of getting an idea of how this is going to be. And that's just going to sit in there like that. I'm going to flip a carrot. So another dab on this side of the blocks. Make sure you can see. Okay, so they're all glued on there now. So now I'm going to glue this in and then we'll put them in our board. Today's our wedding anniversary, 38 years. So a week after my birthday, I turned 19, and then a week later, I got married. Totally crazy. Back in 83. My daughter commented on my wedding pictures mom your hair which was just kind of loosely curled it wasn't totally 80s hair and I said I look at it two ways it could have been a lot worse and at least I'm not stuck in the 80s anymore or I never was really but I never did that wild 80s hair there isn't that cute so you can see the dimension how it pops out super easy to do and I got that cute little black hanger, which I think is going to add to the detail of the black chalk. So fun. Way cuter than what was in there originally from Hobby Lobby. I know that. Mine was the same, but a week before my birthday. 45 years for us. Oh, that's sweet. Happy anniversary, Vicky. Yep. It goes fast, doesn't it? Gosh. Just celebrated your 31st on the 14th. Happy anniversary, Donna. It's a crazy uh, way of like, my birthday is the 9th of July. One week, exactly one week later is our anniversary. Then exactly three weeks later is my husband's birthday, August 6th. So they're always like this year, they're all on a Friday. So they're always the same. It's kind of fun. So, um, yeah. He's three years older than me, though. He's going to turn 60. The big 6-0. Yikes. Crazy. Yep, the big 6-0. All right, guys, we are done with today's cute little project. We've got a little basket weave in the background. You see it? It's there, but it's not there with that wax on it. Super cute. Easy peasy. Size A transfer size B transfer and you know how much I've been using that seeing spots a lot and uh, super cute I just didn't do the hearts on that transfer shortened it up a bit so thanks for talking with me have a great weekend go celebrate something we're gonna go like I said well our son won't be able to be there but our daughters and their kids um, and um, John and I are going down to the treetop adventures i'll try to take some pics and post them have a great weekend i'll talk with you later bye